everybody it's Kate I hope you're doing well welcome in um, I thought we'd do something a little bit different right now I thought we would take a look at all of the build by items and the cast items that are coming with growing together which comes out on March 16th so if you don't like surprises this video is not for you so I'm gonna give you a chance to click away five four three two one and here we go all right I am going to make myself a little bit smaller so I don't get in the way. Um, I am so excited about this pack, you guys. You have no idea. This is everything I've been wanting since day one, practically. Like, when they first gave us The Sims 4, the babies would age up into children, which was terrible. So they gave us toddlers, which are so cute, but like... You don't get that connection with the babies. It's like they're in a box and they cry for a while. And then you get your kid, your kid you know. So I'm so excited about this pack. Um, so first we're going to go through the cast items. And I'm going to look around and see what I like. And then we're go th we'll go through the build vibe items. Um, so the first thing is these two backpacks for babies. Um, if you do pre-order, you get a third one, uh, which has... A sun cover like a sunshade over the top so that's if you want to pay the extra or pay it early you can get that I'm loving all of these sweater details that are in this pack you can see like sweaters here um, this almost looks knitted this is knitted this is knitted there's all oh, these down here are beautiful so there's a lot of texture in what in the clothing that they're giving us, which is exciting. I really think um, that they're doing a good job of doing all the generations. So this really looks to me like something an older man would wear. But, um, you know, anyone can wear any of this because everyone can just grab what they like, right? Uh, this is really cool. Something you can keep warm. Look at this pants with the little little sparkle thing on the side that's so cute i love the layer of this that's really neat some shorts some baby sunglasses i think there's two sets of baby sunglasses if you've ever had a baby you know they do not stay on but it's worth a try right little baby shorts or toddler shorts i'm not sure a little dress um this really does look like a knitted thing like maybe grandma knitted that for you when you were a teenager or something come on come on the cuteness of this. I think my sim might be in this all the time because it's so stinking cute. And I know it comes in other colors because I've seen it in other colors. So I'm excited about that. This is really cute. I think, is that a unicorn? I can't quite tell what's under there, but it's cute that it's layered. Um, I love this. This is neat with the zipper. I don't know that they've done much with an open zipper before, so that's exciting. This dress is really nice. A little hat. Windbreaker. As you'll see when we're going through this, windbreakers are kind of a thing. <laughs> um, and if you live in San Francisco, that's probably, that's why. Uh, this, so this was like, I would never pick this to put on my sim, but they do have where it's like this and this and there's other ones and they all match. So you could have a family photo where everyone's matching, which I think is really sweet. I love these earrings. This with the flutter detail is really nice. This matches the baby is a toddlers. Um, toddlers have a thing that looks a lot like this that has a cape on the back. So this might just have a hood, but it's still really cool that they match. This is neat, I like that it's tucked in. Um, this is so cute. Look at this little jacket for a toddler. Oh my God. Um, this, I can't see, I can't tell. Is it knitted or is it like soft? I can't tell, but I like it. This, this makes me laugh with the big pocket on the front. This is totally San Francisco. <laughs> it's really nice though. Um, this is very nice. It's tucked in plaid shirt, total dad vibes there. Um, little, little capri pants, I guess you'd call them. Um, this is like the same quilted, but in his shorts and in a skirt, which is kind of cool. Uh, a little jacket, another windbreaker jacket that's not going to keep your belly warm, but it's it's cool. This is like a grandpa thing. You see grandpa wearing this or this or this. It's so cute. Little pants. Little pants. Okay, can we talk about the babies here? 
if you've had a baby, if you've ever seen a baby, you know that you have to like get access to them in different areas. So they have the little snaps down here to get to the diaper. They have like the bulge of the diaper, which is really kind of smart and cool of them. And then like babies' heads are big, so they put these things in clothes to make sure that babies' heads can get in. And they put though that in here. That's so cool. I love that. That makes them seem more like babies and less like toddlers. Um, like if they had all the same clothes as toddlers, they'd just look like smaller toddlers, right? So they're really changing, changing it up, and I really like that. Um, here's a full track suit. I think they're showing off the beard here. I don't really play with beards, so I don't know if that's new or not. It must be because it's on this list. This outfit's really cute. I like that. Some shorts and more pants. Pants, pants, more shorts. Look at this. It's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Um, I hope it comes in other swatches because I love putting little animals on my Sims. And then these two might be my favorite. Well, besides these, I can totally see putting my mom sim in something like this. I love the pat. I love the love love the knit pattern. Like this is triple layer. This is sub double layer. They're just really pretty, and I love the green of this. A '90s windbreaker. Am I right? Um, a t-shirt for a guy, any t-shirt for a guy that doesn't have Machino or Sims written on it is good by me. More, look at the snaps and it goes on the leg. Oh, I love that. This is really nice. Now we're starting to get into the scars. So there's like a little scar here, scar here, scar here, scar here. I can't tell on this one, but I'm sure there is one, like the chin one. I love this for storytelling purposes. Like, obviously, your sim is not going to, like, have an accident, really, unless they animate it. Like, there might be a falling off the bike. But other than that, like, they're not going to fall down the stairs when they're a kid. But you can build that into the story by adding a scar. So, like, you know, I didn't have any scars when I was little, but then I fell off my bike and now I have a scar on my knee. So it kind of shows the, the movement of time. And adding some scars to, like, older sims, too can again show the movement of time. So I think that's that's fantastic. Again, like the growing together, they're getting older. Time is passing instead of the Sims where things just kind of stay the same. Um, I don't know if these are tights. It looks like they have a pocket in them, so they might be a pair of pants. Um, another shirt. Now we're getting into like moles. So that's really cool. It makes the Sims look more individualized than the same face over and over and over again. Um, little baby outfits, a little skirt, uh, and this this is a really nice like ombre shirt here. I really like that. This is so cute. This is so cute. I don't know. You don't you don't see a lot of people do this, but you do see people wearing this, and it's really cool that they <laughs> made it, um, and that you can change the color of the hair underneath it and it doesn't change the swatch. So that is super cool. This is really neat, and I can't tell what pattern it is, but I like it. It looks like a nightgown, but I can't tell what's on it. And all the new hairs that they did, this one is really nice. Um, well, we'll get to the hairs, but they're showing a couple of the hairs here. Um, another nice shirt, you know, just your plain shirt, but you need a lot of those, right? little shoes and the little swimsuit oh my goodness another dress this hair oh my gosh and this one too they're so nice and then skin details again look at they're adding skin details to the to the upper torso here so like if you're wearing a dress and you're an elder you're gonna have some spots so i love this it's so cool this, oh my God, like what did I just say about babies and animals? I tell ya. Little baby hairs, oh my goodness. The little wispy one, this one, oh, so cute. Little dress, uh, birthmarks, yes, birthmarks. They they happen, here again, skin details. So if you look at this, just, this just, just that frame, you can tell that that's probably an older Sim or what Sim who's been out in the sun a lot, am I right? So, I really like that. Um, it Previously in The Sims, when a Sim would become an elder, not much changed, to be honest. They would they would hunch a little bit and they had like 
a, a like a frown line or a line up here. Now we can change so much more, which I absolutely love. Um, some back moles, some moles on the chest. Yes, people have moles. It happens. Um, it's a natural thing. More, more, here's even on the babies, they can have little marks um, in their diapers. See, look, oh my gosh, how cute. So I love this. You can make each sim look different. Every sim different in some way. Here's a new, new hair. Look how cool that is. Um, and more, This I think this has like the rosacea maybe. I can't quite tell in that picture. And then um, another birthmark there. Um, and look at this, the little Lion King ones, I don't know if it's a onesie, but the little Lion King outfit is so cute. New shoes, shirt. This looks like a really nice dress with a belt. Um, some pants. This I love. I absolutely love this. This is like a lace thing with a, like a bra cami underneath. This is really nice. This looks like something grandpa would wear. A good old shirt. <laughs> Another windbreaker. I told you it would be a thing. Look at this necklace. So when I was a kid, I totally had this with the plastic beads, you know, and you would train it with your friends. So that's really neat. There's two variations. The other one's down here. And then there's a bracelet as well. It's really fun. Um, these are the coolest socks. Come on. I bet they come in other swatches with other animals, which would be really fun. Look at the sun. Oh, and the little pandas. This is great. I love the overalls on any kid. Um, these are pants. Yeah, like um, plaid pants, like any good grandpa would wear. Uh, this is the perfect hat for going on a nature walk. Again, another windbreaker. I really, really like this, but it's because I really, really like the print, which I, it, yeah, I like the print. This is a great shirt, some pants, a nice, another nice shirt. This reminds me of a bowling shirt for some reason. Here's some more of these dork bites. Um, and then I can't see what this is showing because it's so small, but it might be details. It's got to be some detail on the face. Here's some more moles on the face. Um, another stork bite, little pants. New hairs. Oh my gosh, I really like this one. I mean, this one, this one. This is the one I'm most excited about. Hello, Top Knot. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look, and they have it for the little. <laughs> Get out of here. This is really cool. This is really cool. They have it for the adults. And does anybody else get Justin Timberlake early 2000s vibes from this? The other pair of sunglasses for the kids and then this little onesie thing it's so cute and this dress oh this dress would be beautiful i can't tell where but i like to put dresses like this on my pregnant sims because it cinches above the belly bump and instead of having like the seam you know because their belly just grows and then the seam is in the middle yeah um pants another like sweatshirt this with the little flutter edges is really nice same with this with the little flutter edges and another lion king thing they match look at the helmet i bet they come in different swatches too this must be a new hair which i love a total grandpa sweater and then like i said that bracelet and then the last set of casts is well another bowling shirt type thing um, the face skin details. Oh, I love it. It shows age. It shows personality. It shows just everybody's different. Everybody has different face. So the fact that they give us this many details, like when I was a kid, I had total really bright freckles and then they kind of faded away as I got older. But it's cool that you can show that instead of everybody having a perfect complexion, except when now they added teenagers having acne, that sort of thing. All right, guys, this is, this is build by. Here's a little changing table, which matches the, um, the toy box that we have now and the little toddler bed that we have now. So this would fit in really nicely with any bedroom that we have now. Um, obviously you need a diaper pail. This, 
Hello, I've been waiting for this forever. I have even tried to make my own by like sizing down a rug and putting the baby on there by using that cheat, you know, to free the baby. And, but they just lay there. It's not fun. So this will be so fun. They'll interact with it and their parents can interact with them. And it comes in so many different swatches. So I'm excited about this. This is what I'm really excited about. Um, another changing table. Again, we've really I've been waiting for changing tables. This is really cool that they included a, one that, that would be in public. Like this would be at your local Target, right? They've included that. So if you build a, a community lot, you can still change your baby. How smart. Um, this, this little like ottoman thing is so cute. And I think... I think it might, it probably comes in other swatches and it'd be really cool to see um, and to put that in every baby room. A little dresser, like armoire sort of thing, mirror, two rocking chairs, which is nice. Another little um, ottoman. This looks like a side table, a mobile. I know this comes in a couple different um, different items. Plant, any type of plants you can give me, I'll take it. This is like a craftsman-like mirror, and it's really, this one especially looks like a mirror that I have, that my grandma, that my mother had, that my grandmother had, and so on. So it's cool that they have stuff like that, right? I th think this is probably a nightlight. I like this light, too. And they gave us some new, some new bathroom stuff, which is really nice because we just had a bathroom kit. And now we're going to have to bathe babies. So I think you can probably do most of their hygiene on the changing table, but you can also give them a bath in the bathtub. And it's nice that we have one that's more clear on this both sides. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we can see them having that bath if we want to have a shower tub combo, that is. Um, this is fun. Look, all the little hooks for the t kids' different towels. That's so fun. I had my own hook for my towel when I was a kid. Some curtains, a new bed, a towel, decal. Guys, the last kit, the the clutter kit, the bathroom clutter kit had um, some decals like under the sea decals. And I have used those to decorate my baby's rooms, not the bathrooms, the baby's rooms. And they've been great. It's been really fun. So any new decals you can give me, I'm on board. I'm team decal now. A light, a little side uh, seat, and then a couch here. Uh, this is a little shelf with some hanging things for the infant's room. Toddler potties, a new wall, some wall art. This, I don't know if this is a set or if this is three separate things, but those memory boxes that they gave us, I don't know if that's this or if that's something else. Um, some chairs, couch, table, uh, a new shelf. I'll be honest, this um, this is not something I would use in my game. I don't like the look of this fridge, but it's nice that we have a new fridge. Um, it Maybe if I was making a certain type of house, I would use this, but I'm probably not going to use this in one of my builds. Um, another uh, light. This is like... I think it's bamboo or something like that that they you can use outside a little centerpiece maybe a beautiful rug um a coffee table and this end table and they match thank you very much another end table sleeping bags for adults i haven't seen all the swatches of those either i'm excited this is that game table and a matching chair um a lamp this I think is a decor item, kind of looks like San Francisco. This is what makes like a craftsman style house a craftsman style house. So you put those like out in the front um, and that'll be really fun. Here's a gate and then these windows are beautiful. Look at the, um, the like different panes of glass that they have. This is, I'm really excited about the style of this. Um, stool this is the range and the hood which again not my style but I'm glad we have them a toy and a light here's some more walls this these are probably the kids um, sleeping bags this I'm not sure if it's a carpet or what it is it kind of looks like a Berber carpet to me but I don't I don't know I can I'm not sure the treehouse these are really exciting I'm excited about these 
So I always make photo walls in my builds and I just do it by alt placing everything. But these you can actually place the item and then snap your photos into it. So that's that's really cool. I like that they made that um, for us. And I hope it comes in a bunch of different swatches besides just black. Uh, light, chimney, and then all the windows. And I think that the windows that came with um, Eco Lifestyle are going to match this really well because they have that same detail on the side. So I'm excited to see like what we can do with those different combinations. And the peak ones. Oh, I've been waiting for a window that has a peak. Ah, there it is. I don't know if this is a floor or a wall or a, what it is. This looks like a, like a roof tile. This, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm excited about it. So any kids decor, any kids artwork, I am on board. I put it up all over my Sims houses because it makes it look more lived in. Like when you have a kid, you display their artwork everywhere. This looks like it would go in like library and maybe you can add your own artwork to it. That would be cool if you could um, to display your own artwork. I'm not sure. Um, here's some more chairs that look like they go in that community center. Uh, a new light, uh, like a, a side table. And here's some of the splash pad items, which you can build in your own house, which I'm excited. You could have your own splash pad in the backyard if you wanted to. How cool. This is so cool. I'm so excited about this. This is like a craftsman um, wall, like a wall divider, room divider. Um, I'm going to be using this for sure. This is beautiful and I can't wait to use it. And I think this is a, just a wall of windows. Um, the new door, new fireplace. Thank you so much. Um, windows, again, a stained glass window. Oh, so pretty. More windows, bassinet, baby toys. I don't know if this is a toy or if this is a, like a decor item. I'm not sure. I don't know if this is one of the memory boxes either. I'm not sure what that is. Um, lights, wall decals perhaps, or posters. These are posters for sure. I think these are probably wall decals. They're so cute though. And then all the kids' bikes. Um, here is like a space age chair that you know if you were at a library, all the kids would be fighting over sitting in this chair. It's just a fact. This looks like a decal, maybe another table, an upright piano. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, another changing table. This one looks more craftsman style. Um, this looks like a bunch of library items, like um, these all obviously matched together. And then a long table. I don't know if this one looks like it could fold, like be a folding table for an outdoor party. That would be fun, right? Um, another decal, maybe a poster. These are part of the uh, splash pad, so that's fun. Um, these are just some lights you can have at different levels. Um, curtains, an outdoor bathroom, a new pergola. I'm kind of excited about benches, a new picnic table, a bunch of plants. I love plants. This potty is going to be my go to potty. It's so stinking cute. It's just cute. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, a gnome growth chart. These are this is uh these two things here and here and here are obviously signs for your neighborhood or whatever. Um, national park, whatever you build. This looks like grandpa's lures. Um, an old lantern, kids' bike. This I can't tell if it's like a medicine cabinet type thing with to go in your bathroom. I can't tell what that is by this picture. I just don't know how big it is because um, Whalebert is right here. He's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm so excited for him. A desk, um, a little side. This was in all the trailers and it's so cute and I will put it in my home. And this is so cute. Those little fairy gardens that you can build, you know, out of a clay pot. Yes, that's they made one. Oh, I can't wait. I'm really excited about this. I was like, wait, I know that I've made one. Um, some mirrors, a wall, another wall shelf, a floor. We've talked about how I like the kids' artwork, so there's some more. Uh, these floors, oh, I'm so excited about these floors. And then all this little kid clutter is so cute. Um, I don't know how tall this is, but it looks like it's just either an end table or like a tall shelf that you put in the corner of your room, like in the bathroom or something. 
This I have no idea. I can't tell what it is. I can't tell what it is. Um, this is definitely one of those mem memory boxes that they told us about. A new chimney, a lamp. Um, and then look at this. This is a box that's made to look like a unicorn and a teddy bear that's dressed up like a fairy a teddy bear on a raft with a palm tree. So cute. Um, a new uh, lofted bed and a single bed. A new desk, which looks like it has some stuff in it, which is neat. A double set of those doors. And this, is this a new dollhouse? That would be really cool. Last but not least, we have a chair. These are definitely the three I don't know, there must be more than three or maybe these other things are decor items. I don't know. Um, memory boxes, um, the suitcase, the kid's suitcase, so cute. A food stand. I'm all for any food stand you give me. This looks like paint to me, like a paint set, but it, I could be wrong. The cannon. <laughs> Who brings a cannon to a baby shower? I do. It's so funny. Uh, more bikes. This, I'm, I'm kind of excited about this. So this is like a double bookcase, right? Most of the bookcases we have in game right now are single. Um, so if you wanted a double, you'd put two next to each other, but then they had the same book colors all the way across. So it didn't really look real. So this is nice because it's double, it's double width and it has different book colors throughout. So I'm excited about that. Um, some games. This, I have no idea what it is. Absolutely no idea what that is. Um, and then this might be another decal, which I'm all about. So I am so excited for this. You have no idea. Um, so the free update comes out on March 14th, and that's the baby update. And that comes with a whole bunch of stuff already for free. And then on March 16th, all of this stuff comes. And in San Sequoia, the New World. And uh, some ch more, obviously, changes to the way the game game is played. So I'm planning on having my sim get pregnant on uh, the day that the free update comes out and then give birth when the expansion pack comes out so I can actually have all the, the gameplay features. So super excited. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.